Okay, this is the 10 minute chill out hour. <laughs> so 10 minute zero increment games. Let's just push through here. Let's grab. Why not? Shall we bring this queen here? See if we can get a two on one, which we have a two on one. Knight's coming to protect. Let's x-ray through to the king. So the moment in time seems to... So basically they're probably going to pu push this pawn to actually protect the pawn. Or else the whirlwind of loss in time is going to impact and we will grab the pawn. Hopefully with an improved position as well. So it's a very key, it's a small detail thing when you see this happen to yourself. Um, you can sometimes lose tempo if you're trying to overprotect that piece. And then your pieces get attacked. So then you have to look at, oh damn, am I actually still going to lose the piece anyway? So I'm spending, spending all this time overprotecting, but do I lose out? going to take the pawn I'm, I'm going to see if I can explain it actually doing the thing so we're taking the pawn and we take the pawn with a check the bishop with a check then we take this pawn here and our queen is still defending this pawn but they're up a minor piece so the king rook is probably coming here to defend itself or not so if we take this pawn and they captured and we bring our bishop here defending but also attacking this pawn so they're up a minor piece but it's only plus one for them at the moment and we're trying to say the improved position on the board might be a little bit better for us because of the move order the capturing of the pieces so I'm trying to show that here just because they are like an extra piece up has it really improved their position it's tempting to go for that but um, they're not going to do that because the queen is still fully guarding it it's tempting to bring this here so that it gets another pawn yeah so he's brought it subliminally to here to basically attack this pawn Yep. So exchanging the queen off at this moment in time, I think we're going to keep the queen on the board. I think that works out favourably for us. So I'm going to bring the queen back, which is protecting this pawn at the minute. I'm not really looking at protecting a pawn. I'm trying to look at, well, what is their king actually doing? So he's still going for the pawn anyway because he's going to be on our rook if we don't take his rook is defending at this moment in time so let's take it not going to lose any sleep over it and it's greedy munching another pawn so I'm actually just going to castle and let them just greedy munch away develop the knight let's just keep looking at the king and the king area and the spaces around the king so we're giving them something to think about, the knight's attacking the rook. So it's probably going to come here to attack the knight. Have elements of moving the knight up a little bit more, a bit closer towards the king area. No, it's gone defending the pawn, so we're going to attack the rook. Got a two on one on the pawn, looking to release the rooks facing their king at some point. He does have defenders, he's got knight here, knight there. So, yep, so he's losing the knight, the pawn anyway. So we may as well take with the knight. If he does take, the bishop will take the rook off the board. So as you can see, just from this stage anyway, it's not, it's not even showing a massive advantage for... Um, black in terms of being the minor piece up. Knight could move here because the pawn is defending the bishop 
or it could just bring the rook here but because he's got a two on one we have to move either move the knight or take the bishop so taking the bishop the knight takes and then we get a little bit of squish on the king knight comes to defend so i think we'll take get a squish on the king take advantage of the improved position put the check on get the knight across if we can or if we can't then just get the other rook involved it's going for an exchange because he's got more pieces on the board and at this point in time we're saying no we don't really want any of that give them something to think about let's just bring the rook here and attack the knight if we can get to this area here a bit more squish on the king so now he's got our knight so we can take his knight off the board quite easily looking for a bit more squish he'll be trying to get castled won't he so he does move and is protecting but we can bring the rook here attacking the knight if we're looking to go here so if they've got any cleverness they're probably going to bring this rook back here in fact this rook is defending the knight anyway so he could still go on castle So they're putting a lot of thought into it, but realistically, they didn't need to do that. <laughs> they could have just gone and castled. So we're going to put the check on the king. The knight can't move. Yeah, so in essence, they could have just gone and castled because we couldn't take the rook. So now we've got his rook for free, but it's not. Our rook is going to get trapped. Yeah, once we go here, then his knight's just going to come here and trap the rook in. Then this pawn drops down, then the king goes across and gets the rook. But I'm thinking if that happens, <clears throat> there's a lot of material that's coming off the board from the opponent. So it's almost going to end up being equal. So we're going to take. That's what I'm thinking anyway, I don't know. Because <laughs> I could just take his knight off the board. And then we'd have a rook each and this pawn potentially being a passer depending on if i'm fast enough knight in could take the pawn oh he's always oh, allowing our rook to escape actually he does get this pawn yeah i think we need to be getting out of there now Okay, let's get out of there. They've given us a reprieve that could have locked off, but they probably realized, well, I'm gonna have, it's going to be two rook, well, a rook each. Um, see, fancy with his knight. Could bring down now, support the pawn. I'm getting all defensive now so I'm just going to curl up like a little turtle now oh he's getting arty with the knight I'm going to bring the king here try to take myself off of any forks let's attack the knight Attack the knight again. Let's bring the rook here. Out. 
yeah, it's moved it away somewhere. I'm gonna attack the rook anyway. Doesn't have to tip. Oh, okay. So what's the rhythm like with this pawn? Um, King's gonna come and just challenge. Shall we just see what happens? Just push it and push it. Some sort of fork thing. No, the knight doesn't look like it's push. Hmm. Let's attack a pawn. I think he has to rush to get to here so this pawn doesn't get this. Maybe, I don't know. Something like that. Might. Ooh, okay. Right, so he's gone for blocking. Now my brain's thinking if we take, it takes, then we push. No, it's not going to work, that is it. If we push the pawn, then he comes around the side. Then if we take the rook, then his king takes. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. Oh, he's gone for a blocker. Didn't see that. So if we take this pawn, his king comes here to attack the pawn. Then we go back up and put a check on. Yep. Put the check on. Come here, see if we can do the same thing here on this side. Knight's doing something, so if we take like we did before, King goes and puts a check on. King's thinking about hiding in the corner. Hmm. Right, so I need to get rid of some of these pawns now then. Let's hit this pawn. Well, this pawn rather than some pawns. Let's push. Fork on the king. King here. Let's move the king up. Push. Fork on the king here. Move the king up. Push. And they've resigned. Nice game.